Today's video is sponsored by Raycon earbuds. Today we're gonna see what's left if we take all of the water out of Windex. We have freeze dried a good number of things. A lot of stuff. We've got four new things to try out today, and they're all common cleaning ingredients. We've tried other household products before, but I don't think we've ever tried in a large quantity of cleaning supplies. Not really. I think we may have done a little bit of soap at some point. Mm -hmm. Specifically, I chose all of these cleaning ingredients because they are liquid that I assume is mostly water. Okay. I didn't check all of the ingredients in that, but I assume they have a lot of water in them. And they are not specifically formulated to foam and bubble a lot, oh, like dish soap is. Okay. So I, I was worried that if we did something like dish soap, it would just pff, erupt in the freeze dryer. Here's the basic idea. We have a variety of cleaning supplies and we're going to suck all of the water out of them. What are they going to do? Turn into a powder, a film, a concentrated goo? Will they still work for cleaning after they've been through the freeze drying process? As you can see in the Windex and the Pine Sol, there are some bubbles and they can form. So we're not guaranteeing that this won't happen here, but we've got Pine Sol, which is surface and floor cleaner. It smells great. We've got some laundry detergent, Windex, and dish detergent. I am interested here in some of the ingredients. Ooh. The first ingredient in this is fragrances. So there is more good smelling stuff in this dish detergent than there is any other ingredient. The second ingredient is nitric acid. I don't know what consistency and like strength they have that in there, but water is pretty far down on the list. There's a lot of just sodium benzoate, sodium carbonate, sodium hydroxide, sodium hypochlorite, sodium silicate, sodium sulfate, and then you get to water. Ugh. Okay. Very thick. Actually, we might need to pour this one out first. It's not liquid enough to fill yeah, the tray gonna, otherwise. You're gonna have to like tap it down. And we don't normally fill trays either with liquids. We normally do cups, so this will be interesting. Might as well do the Tide now too. We'll save the other two for a minute. Mmm, this bottle is good at pouring. So this is a fair amount of liquid. Do you think it's all gonna go in one cycle? No, it's definitely gonna take two cycles. Sometimes that happens. All right, we'll come back in a couple of freeze drying cycles and see how that's turned out. While the cleaning supplies are going through the freeze dryer, I'm going to tell you about these awesome earbuds that I love, Raycons. Here on T-Core, I am constantly building new contraptions and experiments. Sometimes that can take a while, and I really like listening to audiobooks or music while I build. For that, I use my Raycon earbuds. Seriously guys, I use these almost every day. They don't fall out when I'm moving around, the audio quality and bass are fantastic, they have up to six hours of battery life, and have a super comfortable fit. Raycon is disrupting the electronics industry by prioritizing premium audio design and a fantastic customer experience from start to finish. And they do all of this for half the price without compromise. They offer their wireless earbuds in a range of awesome colors and patterns with various fit options and the best part is there aren't any dangling wires. Something else awesome about the company is that it was co-founded by Ray J and big name celebrities are part of the Raycon family like Mike Tyson and Snoop Dogg. To make sure that you, the customer, is taken care of, Raycon has an extended 45-day free return policy. If you're trying to take a break from the screens while still listening to Prime Audio, use the Raycon earbuds. Click the link in the description box or go to buyraycon.com slash tcore to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. All right, all of our stuff has freeze dried. It did take a good amount of time. It ran about 48 hours because there was a lot of liquid to pull out. And I'm very interested in what has happened here. I would say the laundry detergent changed the least. It's fair, still very goopy. And the other three all changed significantly in different ways. Oh my goodness, do not eat that. <laughs> so yeah, this stuff has just turned into like a lightweight cracker foam type stuff, fairly breakable. We've actually had quite a bit of stuff we freeze dry that ends up similar to this texture. My very first thing I did, as I always do, is to see if it would burn, and it doesn't. But Nate pointed out that it could be a very good insulator. So what I'm doing is I'm holding this piece, but I've got my fingers up here. I'm not holding it like this, because then it could burn my thumb. But I want to see if my fingers can feel the heat through it. No. Not even a temperature change. 
So yeah, what we've invented here is another really good insulator. Now, it doesn't hold itself together very well. No. Getting it to coat stuff would be tricky, but it's also not as light as I thought it would be. No, it's actually pretty it feels dense. Feels about like sidewalk chalk. All right, now we've got our Tide. So this is still liquidy. But that's awesome. Gelatinous concentrated, really just, yeah, pulled water out, but a lot of what's in here is not water, obviously. It's not even a very strong smell, so I kind of wonder if one of the things that came out of it is the, the liquid perfume scent that they add to it. Let's see if I can smell this any more or less. I think this is stronger. Like, this is concentrated, but I think that in concentrating, it lost some of the scent. We have our pine salt, which is like a weird mix of having dried out completely, but also not having dried out completely. In the little creases, if I push on them, you can actually see that there's a little bit of liquid still running in them. It looks Those like when bubbles. we've tried to freeze dry honey, actually. But when we try and freeze dry honey, this is kind of the result that we've gotten. We just Similar. cannot pull the liquid out of it. So fun fact about the Tide, I just went to wash my hands and it took a couple minutes longer than I expected it to. It's so thick and like viscous that it doesn't want to come off your skin. I had to use a scrub brush. Uh, but also, that's something that I've actually experienced using Tide in the past. I don't particularly like Tide for my clothes because I found that if I do a load of whites, they come out kind of blue tinged. And now I'm seeing that this stuff just doesn't rinse off as well as you would think. So in a rinse cycle, that could be happening too. Ooh, ah, snap, crackle, yeah, there's, pop. There's little bits that want to burn, but it doesn't like to stay on fire. It's a pleasant smell, I the, thought he was the pine salt. And then over here, I am surprised at how little is left with our Windex. Yeah. There is almost nothing it's left like on dust. here. It makes me wonder, so you know how Windex now has that clear version, like with vinegar? I'm wondering if there would be anything left if you freeze dried that. Could be, obviously this has blue coloring in it. The first ingredient is water, but then it has things like alkyl benzene sulfonate. And it's weird, so it looks like it's dry and it doesn't feel wet, but there's like a residue to it. You can see like if I press and smear, it does smear along and leaves some blue on my finger. I'm curious if this will rehydrate. Get about that much water and pour it on here. Oh yeah, that dissolves nicely. It was really hard to get off before, but now that it's in the water, it just kind of comes right up. While you do that, I'm gonna pour some water on our styrofoam that we've made. Maybe drop the styrofoam into the water. Oh, it's exothermic. It's getting warm? It's, yes. It's getting hot in my hands, guys. Really? Ooh, yeah. Fun. Interesting, interesting. Not like burning, but No, very noticeable. warm though. Like this water is cold. It's, you know, regular room temperature tap water. But as I add the uh, dried out cascade to it, it's having an exothermic reaction and it's heating up. I don't actually know what the best application for this is, but it seems to have reconstituted nicely. Mm -hmm. We haven't tested using it to clean yet, but if it works for that, I feel like there would be some market in a product that seems like it's an empty bottle and they mm -hmm. just say add water, but it actually has all of the residue in it. So like, I don't know if you have to bring it somewhere and yeah. you don't want to ship it full of lit. I don't know exactly where that situation would work, but I like the idea. It's like that pancake batter you buy, you mm -hmm. just add water and shake it up. And it's done. Except it seems like it's empty because there is so little in terms of weight here, but then you just be like, oh yeah, just fill the bottle with water, shake for five minutes, and then you've got your cleaning solution. I want to pour this out, pour okay. this into here, and then and we can clean try it on a mirror. I will go make a mess on a mirror. <laughs> All right, so we're trying to mess up a mirror in the bathroom so we can test this out. I grabbed some Expo markers and was smearing my hands, and then there's what Nate's doing. Maybe. <laughs> All right, mirror. Let's see if this stuff works. Sprays on about the same. My biggest question is kind of, will it still give, like I think Windex does a pretty good of streak-free shine. Will it still do that or have we removed chemicals that would help it with that. <laughs> Gotta say, we got a much cleaner result with the uh, the never dehydrated window cleaner. There's huh. a lot more streaking uh, and even just more left. Like it didn't do as good of a job getting off all of the dry erase marker. 
works. I wonder if there's uh, another chemical that evaporated off with the water. That's my guess. I bet it did. Which would explain why they don't have dehydrated I Windex. Bet it did. <laughs> exactly that. Way more smell. So I think you're definitely right. I think there's something else like one of the cleaners is in it. It really is noticeable. That's interesting to tell. Thanks again to Raycon Earbuds for sponsoring today's video. Click the link in the description box or go to buyraycon.com slash tcore to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. Guys, that's it for today. If there's anything else you'd like to see us freeze dry, please let us know. And of course, remember we've always got new great stuff for you to see. Hit that box right there to check out one of our favorites and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.